Now, I don't usually make uh, videos like this. You know, um, usually when I make a video, it's usually um, a word for the whole entire body, not for particularly one uh, person. But um, as a lot of people know, this past weekend uh, was Elevation's uh, 14th uh, anniversary. And Bishop T.D. Jakes, you know, was the speaker and everything and everybody and their mama was like yo you gotta check out you know the sermon it was dope like you gotta check this sermon out like, i'm seeing it everywhere so um i go check it out and everything and i'm uh listening and i couldn't even finish the whole entire sermon i get probably like 45 minutes to the near end and my heart just gets heavy and grieving and i don't know why so i stopped the um no, I didn't stop it. I was just like looking around like, why am I grieving? Why am I feeling this way? And I tried to continue to watch it. And while watching uh, in a vision, like spiritually, I ended up seeing him on stage having a heart attack. And now I stopped the sermon and I'm just shaking my head like, no, I didn't just see that. Like, no, I, I didn't see that and everything. So now I'm literally like near tears. You know, I don't know what's going on. I'm praying like, okay, well, what's what's happening i i'm i don't know what's happening um if y'all have been listening in my I believe the previous video i was sharing how the lord was showing to me that uh this year there's pretty much going to be like judgment throughout the churches um throughout america even around the world stuff like that um how each church has either three one of these three uh I guess you can say like sins or whatever in the church, which is comfort, perversion, and idolatry. And was saying how each church have their own time limit and how if that church pastor does not repent, then judgment will strike that church. And so he began telling me how for T.D. Jakes, for his church and for him, uh, theirs is idolatry. So many people idolize um, T.D. Jakes to where he actually accepts it. He approves it. He endorses it. He takes it all in. He doesn't um try to get people to stop idolizing him he enjoys it and for his judgment it will be him having a heart attack on stage what church place i have no idea but that's his judgment and i'm making this video pretty much like asking you know if even if he i don't know if he's going to watch this video i'm just being obedient and if he is watching it that's great but please like i'm asking god to have mercy on your soul that you will actually repent and Repent from the idolatry. Repent from having so many people uh, idolizing you and you accepting it. And the fact that it says in Luke, you know, like, woe to those that speak good of you. And everybody from the world to the saints are speaking good of you. And people in the world shouldn't, you shouldn't be friends with the world. You know, like, yes, we're there to um, pour into them everything. But you got people from tyler perry going to your leadership conference and we all know tyler perry is full of perversion and so much other different things he's not even a christian and you're yoking with him you know oprah so many different people and it's he's god is saying like it's time to end it because judgment is coming to your house judgment is coming to your doorstep and like i said this is something that i did not want to do you know like i watch some of his sermons you know every now and then when it comes to different stuff and everything. I'm not the type to be like, oh, he's he's false, he's this or X Y Z. But I know one thing: when God says speak, I, I speak. You know, I may struggle, be like, I don't know about that. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, I literally cried. I had a I had a whole entire breakdown last night, to where my husband had to like pray over me and just lift me back up because this was something I did not want to believe. This is something I did not want to say, but it's time to be said. So please, like, continue. Just share this video. I have no idea how it's going to reach him or anything like that. But I'm just saying, please share this video and please pray for the man that God will have mercy on his soul so that this does not happen. And please intercede for your pastors and for your leadership in your church that you will continue to see what is it that's happening in your church and that way you can be the mouthpiece to let your pastor know and let your uh, leadership know, you know, like what's going on, what they need to uh, repent from. God bless.